Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls Easy Mode. Um, so I'm done farming. I will just quickly do one more thing before I head to the end of the game. And this is the final step required to get the NPC I was talking about earlier. Um, by the way, the item I wanted to farm I also got a Black Knight Greatsword, but I was actually going for the Black Knight Great Axe, which is a pretty cool weapon. Um, it is pretty... I know it's equivalent in terms of damage to the Zweihander, probably. It's not... Uh, I shouldn't do this on the elevator. Um, it's not much more powerful, but it's got slightly faster swings. Um, and in case this matters to you, being a Black Knight weapon, it also does bonus damage to demons. Though at this point I've pretty much killed all the demons. But it swings a bit faster than the Zweihinder. Um, it does similar damage though. Now what I'm doing right here is going back to the... Do I still have... No, I don't have a fast roll anymore. Oh yeah, I know why. Doesn't don't don't worry about it. I have switched my ring, which I no longer need. Since I was farming, I equipped the ring that gives me a drop rate. Obviously, I don't need that anymore. Now going back to the shortcut I opened, where I killed the enemy that gave me the sunlight maggot. And unless I miss something, I should be able to find Solaire here. In case I did miss something. Gonna have to check what that is. Okay, he does not appear to be here. I may have to check. Yeah, he is not here, okay. So I am apparently blind. <laughs> I just turned around to, to go back and uh, get his dialogues finished, but He's actually here. He's just sitting. I, I have no idea how I missed him. Uh, maybe he only just popped in as I moved up the stairs, but I, I think I was just completely blind. So yeah, hey, Soler. Was it all a lie? Have I done this all for nothing? Oh, my dear son. What now? What should I do, my son? My dear, dear son. And I th Would think, yeah, that's that's it. Um, if you haven't killed the Sunlight Maggot yet, then he would be here, wearing it on his head and attacking you. And that would be the end of his quest line. Okay. But now that we've gotten him, that's, um, that's all there is to it. I'm going to rest here. And... That's fine, I can go back to the Wanderer stuff here. Um, not sure if there was anything else I needed. Oh yeah, I wanted to go human, that's right. Um, the final boss is actually pretty difficult. Um, there is one trick you can do to make it fairly easy um, which I am not very good at it um, it requires a bunch of um, practice to get it right but you can parry the final boss and if you choose to parry him he becomes very very easy um, just use a shield that has decent fire resistance. I'm using the um, the Dragon Crest shield. If you have the stats for it, you could also use the Black Knight shield, which you can farm right in this place. Uh, these guys drop all the Black Knight weapons. Well, they drop. They can all drop the shield, and they all drop can all drop the weapon that they're wielding. So the first one can drop the Black Knight sword. This guy here can drop the Black Knight Greatsword. Yeah, 
Backstab. Backstabs are probably the easiest way to deal with these guys. Um, the next guy can drop the sword again. The, the guy afterwards can drop the Great Axe and the final one can drop the Halberd. So you can farm all the Black Knight weapons at this point if you didn't get lucky and get them from, from an earlier point from one of the non-respawning Black Knights. Now this guy, you can either run past him to get him uh, to an open area where you can backstab him easily, or you can try parrying him. Um, he's not that difficult to parry. I mess it up quite a bit still, but uh, you know. And here we can summon Knight Solaire. I would suggest you kill the two Black Knights before running back to summon him though, because then he won't have taken any damage and um, he'll be at full health for the boss fight. Now this knight's actually pretty dangerous. I would suggest running back a little. So you're not fighting him right at the point where the where the pathway is kind of broken. And this is the guy who drops the great axe, by the way. So if you fight him right here, he can uh, knock you to your death by just knocking you off the edge quite easily. Um, so I'd suggest just pulling him back a little and fighting him where you're slightly safer. And Halbert guy is pretty easy to get behind and then just backstab for the kill. And now I'm going to run back and um, summon Solaire. So in order for Solaire to be here, you need to have done essentially what I did. Um, I don't believe it's necessary to ever summon him for a boss fight. But you need to have talked to him at the relevant locations, as I did. Um, it might be necessary to summon him for the gargoyles. I'm not sure about that. But you definitely don't need to summon him for Ornstein and Smo or for um, the Centipede Demon, which are the other two bosses where you can summon him. And of course the, the final boss. But you need to have done the dialogue and you need to have saved him by having opened the shortcut and um, obtained the Sunlight Maggot before he gets there himself. That's very important. Um, now farming the humanity to open the shortcut is a bit of a hassle. I think there's some pyromancy uh, that can actually kill the sunlight maggot through the gate. Some poison area of effect. But don't quote me on that, I might be wrong. I heard it somewhere but I've never tested it myself so it might not be... Um, it might not actually be correct, I'm not certain. Um, but yeah, that, that would be, I guess, an option. Now, let's see. No introduction cutscene. Okay, he does the grab attack. Sadly, as long as he... when he does the grab attack, he's... Um, he's invulnerable. Each of this axe is not as great as it seems. But yeah, with the help of Solaire, the fight is a lot simpler. There we go. And Solaire even survived. Um, basically, Solaire serves mostly as a, as a meat shield. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't survive for long, but if you have a strong damage option, he survives long enough because he can tank the boss's hits for a short while. Longer than you can, at any rate. Um, if you don't summon him, then this boss will be in your face all the time. It's very, very difficult to get an opening for an attack or for healing. You can try and use the pillars to sort of get one of the pillars between you and him and get a heal off, but uh, that's by no means safe. In the Ornstein and Smo boss fight, it's very safe to get behind the pillars. Um, obviously, they can get around them eventually, but um, it, it takes them a while, so you, you have enough of an opening to get a heal off, at least. Um, whereas Gwyn is insanely fast. 
So if you just, if you like, say you're here and you dodge an attack and you run right behind this pillar and you get a heal off, he might well be, a, be on top of you again before you finish the healing animation. He is very, very fast and very aggressive. So you either have the option of parrying him. Parrying him does not really work well if you summon Solaire because um, just having another player there who he can target makes parrying difficult because... Um, he might switch targets and suddenly his attack animation will be slightly different and uh, you might not get the parry off. So if you want to try the parrying, I suggest going at it by yourself. Um, his attacks aren't very difficult to parry, it's just a matter of practicing it. And obviously you can then get counter hits off which do tremendous damage, so that's a very quick way to kill him. Or as I said, or as I did, summon Solaire, use him as a meat shield and then um, get a few swings and get your distance again so he aggros back to Solaire and then rinse repeat um, and eventually you'll get him down that way just, just keep in mind Solaire was almost dead even for me and I have a very strong weapon so if you have an, a weaker weapon um, Solaire might die before you actually get the kill and then you'll need to um, you need to fight the boss by yourself for a while and of course if you summon help then the boss will be a bit um, stronger he has more health and I think he might do more damage, I'm not entirely sure about that. But yeah, the bosses are stronger if you summoned, uh, yeah. if you summoned other players or NPCs. Now that we've finished the final boss, there are basically two options. You can choose the Dark Lord ending or you can choose the Link the Fire ending. Um, since I can only show you one of them, I'm going to show you the Dark Lord ending because it's more funny. Um, why is it more funny? Because I have the symbol of Everest. My lord, bless thy safe return. Let Karth and Frapt serve your highness. We are here to serve your highness. Let true dark be cast upon the world. Our Lord hath returned. And that was Dark Souls with um, a fair amount of hints on how to make it easier for you. Um, I'll just quickly skip the credits. Once you're past the credits, you will be back at the beginning of the game. And I'll just quickly unequip this thing because it drains my health. I just think that cutscene looks so much uh, funnier when you're wearing the um, when you're wearing the symbol of Everest. I'm actually, trying to destroy this bucket here. Nope, it's an indestructible bucket apparently. Um, even though I was human after the boss fight, I am now hollow. The the game just automatically hollows you as you start a new game cycle. Um, it'll now also be a lot harder. Um, the enemies will have gotten more health and damage. Um, that's the only change in this game. Um, Dark Souls 2 is a bit different. Um, New Game Plus in Dark Souls 2 actually changes some stuff, which I quite like. Uh, this game will be exactly the same, except enemies have more health and do more damage. That's it. Um, but yeah. Um, let me know what your experience was with the, with the game, how you you got across this if you found this um, this guide playthrough thing helpful at all um, and if there's any particular section you're really struggling with or if you have got a different character build I can try and provide help for that still um, I don't know say you're playing as a mage and you're really struggling with a certain area or boss I can try and to get a character there that has a similar build and show you how I would tackle it um, that that might be helpful um, aside from that I think there's not really much to tell I'm just going to sort of a tradition just going to Kill Asylum quickly. Pick 
because, well, I have a weapon that does bonus damage to demons. And he counts as a demon, so, yeah. I really do like this weapon, um, it's, it's very nice. Uh, I still like the Zweihander, and this weapon obviously can only be reliably gotten at the very end of the game. But, yeah, I, I like it for the, the final boss fight. It's It just swings slightly faster. And that is important to me because Gwyn is so fast himself. By the way, I only use the R1 because the R2 is insanely slow. So R1 is really fast. R2, eh, not so much. And you will usually get interrupted before you finish it. Um, anyway, we have finished the game. I've shown you how to beat the final boss, and I think that really is all there is to say. Again, if you have any questions, comments, or anything that you felt I didn't cover, I will be happy to provide you with um, help in some form or another. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I thank you for watching, and maybe we'll see each other in another project. Bye-bye.